So next up, we're going to want a repeating group to show off all the stuff that gets uploaded. And this will be simple where we're just going to pop in, let's see. For this, the important thing to note is for is that the content type is file wasabi and the data source is this wasabi uh, element A's files. Because then we can access that and show off from a user, from a UI standpoint. Set this as a row. Give it a minimum height of say 20. We'll give this a minimum height of 40. Give that a height of 40. And here we're just gonna say file current cells, Wasabi files, full name. We'll just leave it at that. And then maybe it makes sense to do this. And we'll add an X button so that people can close it off, close it out. Or remove it rather. And so when this is when this is hit, what we want to do is we want to come over here and with that uh, for the element actions, we're going to remove a file and we're going to remove that current cells file. So you can already see here for our UI that if someone were to upload multiple files with this, we can close that and remove that. And of course, the UI, we're not gonna perfect it here in this video. Okay, next up. Uh, let's see, we could also say maybe this is uh, a limit of five. since we put a limit here of five for the number of uploads, max file count. Cool, so next up, let's go grab a button and drop that here. And then we'll say next. Style that and looking good. And so one thing that um, that we're doing here is We're building a UI so that people can get a uh, an idea of really what's going on as they're doing this and get some visual confirmations. Um, next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show off this. Uh, we're gonna create a new custom state actually. I believe I actually, I already have it created. I'm gonna delete it and it'll just show you the process from scratch. So we're gonna create this new custom state and it's going to be a file wasabi, and it's going to be a list of multiple entries. 
And what I want to do is when this button is clicked, I want to set a state of all the files here. Because I'm going to use that state over here on this previewer for the repeating group so that we can uh, just navigate and know what we have going on. So as you can see, this this uh, this repeating group over here, it has a group, a couple groups in it, and they show off. Let's see if we, we'll get a detailed view here. So this is actually just a heading here for this group. Then this body that can go away. That can go away. Cool, so it's just that. And then we're gonna, it looks like we're gonna add in an image and a video preview. So let's do that first. Let's, or let's actually get our repeating group set up with the, with the proper uh, data. And that data is on the main pages, this uh, upload file holder that we've set. Because when we set that, then we can um, we can subtract from that list as remember that that we're allowing people to upload five of these and so if they if they have five of them on the right hand side after they've submitted one and stored it into the system then at that point what we want to have happen is one of those gets subtracted from the repeating group because it's already been processed and, and gone through the whole UI cool so we're setting that state here and then we're also going to run this action of upload a Wasabi file. So here again, we, we want to make sure we're just going to copy these over. This super bucket and this US Central one. And then for the, for, for, for the folder structure, in my experience, it actually pulls out of here, but just as a double safe, fail safe, we're gonna paste this here. And then everything else, good to go. Private, make sure that's no, just so that it's easy to see. We're for sure get our file previews. Cool, okay, so next up, uh, what we wanna do is, we also want to, when this happens, we want to display or show an element rather, and we're going to show a progress bar A. And progress bar A is this here, and what this is is a is a progress bar of this 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 plugin. So add a progress bar. So just go out and look for a progress bar in the plugins area with this icon. here, the most popular one by bubble. And how we set that progress bar up is we're gonna use this Wasabi Elements. It actually has an upload progress thing available to it. So we've got some colors set up on it, but it'll basically, uh, it's collapsed when it's hidden and it's not shown. And maybe maybe we'll show it, uh, yeah, right there. That looks, that looks pretty good, good to me. Cool, so our workflow now is gonna show that progress bar. Next up, we just take a look at how we're doing. We can choose a folder and maybe we want to make this repeating group collapse when hidden. It's not visible on page load. The conditional is that when the Wasabi file count is greater than zero, then we're gonna show this. Cool. All right, so now let's get our file preview set up and we'll call this we'll call this good. So here for our dynamic image, what you want to do is you want to come over and we're going to take a look at the URLs for these uh, these elements. 
So actually to do that, an easy way to do that is first and foremost, we're just gonna drop a couple of these in and we're gonna choose the Z1. Then I'm gonna hit next. And then over here on Z1, I take a peek at these. And then I'm gonna click over here. Or actually, I'm gonna copy this path. And we're gonna build this URL here. Oh, okay. No, actually we're going to um We're going to take this first part of the URL from here. And then we're going to note the file structure and the file name. It's going to vary based upon what someone chooses here and what someone uploads there. So that means we're going to get a dynamic value here for this drop. Whoop. For this drop down. And then we're also going to get the parent groups. Remember that uh, this group, this the, the repeating group, gets this whole list from, and the list is just a, is just a copy of the what's here. Uh, but so we can work with it and subtract all files after they've been processed. But basically what we have going on here is the parent groups, we want to get its full name and then we want to do a thing here where we go down and say find and replace and any spaces we're going to replace with percent twenties because that's what it'll do over here in the system. Uh, this, this, these don't actually happen to have spaces in them, but if, if the files did, uh, this is a good point to note and a good sticking point to just make sure everything's working well in your system.